Hey guys, Dr. Sill here, medicine and mental health videos. And today I'm responding to a comment. This comment is from Laura Cortino. Laura, thank you so much for leaving the comment. You requested that I react to the Magic School Bus um, episode where they go through the digestive tract. Um, it is not the uh, Get Eaten episode that is about fish. This one is called For Lunch. I remember as a child coming back from Bondi Beach and watching Magic School Bus. It was just, you know, it's so nostalgic to see it now. And, and that intro is just so good. This is about the digestive tract apparently. And I have just completed a term of gastroenterology. So I'm a junior doctor working in Sydney, Australia, and I do rotations in different medical and surgical fields. Um, that's what junior doctors have to do in Australia. And I've just finished um, a couple of weeks in the gastroenterology field. So that's all things digestive system and liver and hepatobiliary stuff. So things like gallbladder and pancreas and, and those kind of things. So let's see what they talk about. Also, if you want to see more videos, please consider subscribing because only about 5% of people watching my videos are subscribed. So if you think that I could improve or there's something, some feedback you want to give, please leave a comment down below. Otherwise, uh, you can you can subscribe and leave the video a like and that'll help the YouTube algorithm and it would help me and that would be wonderful. But anyway, let's get into the video. Seatbelts, everyone! Please let this be a normal field trip with a friend. No way! Cruising on that main street, you relax and I like the puss. Surfing on a sound wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at Joe and Justin. Take your second right past Mars on the Magic School Bus. Navigator Nostro. Climb on the Magic School Bus. Make a plane turn two. If any of you know all the lyrics, put them in the comment down below. I want to be able to sing this one day. A long Magic School Bus. Rock the river of lava. Lava? Oh, oh, right. Magic School wins two free tickets to Action Mountain, the wildest, scariest, best scream your lungs out ride in the world. Whoa. Ride of my dream. Let's get the facts. Arnold wants to go on the fast. I wonder if they realize that the exit of that ride symbolizes the anus, <laughs> where the exit of your digested food comes out. This is the scariest, the best scream your lungs out ride in the world. You feel all right, Arnold? Actually, my ticket's up for grabs. I'm just uh, helping Wanda out. I would have done the chewing myself, but I got a new filling. See? Oh. Ah! Ah! Mm. Oh, good morning, class. One digestive system coming up. Oh, that's more like it. Was that in the lesson plan? As I always say, no guts, no digestion. Well, as I always say, no chewing, no free tickets. Come on, Arnold, chew, chew, Arnold. Um, Wanda, I think I, uh, uh, swallowed it. <laughs> Very funny, Arnold. You're kidding, right? Say ya. Oh! 
as a very small point um, that's a bit too pedantic, but I'll say it anyway because it's interesting. Um, when you think about digestion, there's two components. There's mechanical and chemical. And the teachers quote that there are no guts, no digestion is not technically correct because the mechanical digestion starts with the teeth and you start breaking down food into um, smaller bits so that the surface area is larger so that you can absorb the nutrients more effectively. Um, but not only that, in your saliva, there's something called amylase and that starts the breakdown of carbohydrates. Um, there's only a little bit though. Most of it comes from your pancreas later on. You and I, we were going to ride Action Mountain together. You didn't do it on purpose, did you? No, no, it was an accident, really. Okay, Wanda, or whatever her name is, she's gonna chill. He's doing her a favor. I'm sorry, Wanda. I told you breaking records made me nervous. I told you I've never won anything in my life. Never say never, Arnold. I told you you should have picked someone else. Oh, hey, Arnold, that's okay. I mean, it's only a ride. And that's the end of that. Actually, Wanda, it's only the beginning. Of what? Our next field trip. Field trip! Field trip. Miss Frizzle, I'd really it's love cute. to go on a field trip, but but I've got this weird feeling. I mean, I already ruined Wanda's day. What if I ruin everybody else's? Well, Arnold, I do need a volunteer to stay behind. Stay behind? Come on, let's go! <laughs> me! Me! Pick me! Well, thank you, Arnold. Oh, Arnold right. is his name. Wait a minute. This is too good to be true. What's the catch? Meet your substitute teacher. Liz? Um, could be worse. See you very soon. It's a weird Arnold. animal. It's like a triceratops lizard dinosaur. One Pythagoras. field trip for them. One bag of cheesy wheezies for me. Mm. Our timing should be just about right. supposed to answer the question about what happens to the food we eat. Yeah, where are we going? That is a very convenient setup for this. Not far, class, not far at all. Here we go! <laughs> Ralphie, they're more like humongo food crushers. Wait a minute. If that's food, we're either on the weirdest cutting board in the world or in oh. somebody's mouth. Bingo. But not just anybody's mouth. Look familiar? Arnold? Boy, it's kind of empty in here. What's the bet that they get caught in the gum that he swallowed? I wonder where they went. Well, wherever they are, they don't have me to slow them down anymore. Oh, Arnold. Hmm. Ah, nothing like cheesy wheezies with a green olive chaser. Is that a thing? So the first thing that happens to the food when it gets digested is the teeth cut and grind it into smaller pieces. At my old school, we were never allowed to be digested. <laughs> never say never, Phoebe. But according yeah. to my research, oh, after back to chewing comes swallowing. I call it Action Arnold. The wildest, scariest. Scream your lungs out right in the world! Yahoo! That's the uvula you can just see dangling there. That blocks your nasal canal when you're swallowing so that things go down and not up into your nose cavity. The dongle at the back of your ah, you can see it. 
Class, welcome to the esophagus. The asparagus? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Carlos, the esophagus. It's where your food goes after you swallow. <sighs> Miss Frizzle, what are you doing? Time to let Arnold's digestive system do the driving. What's it called? Come on, medical students. If you're if when you when your gut starting from the esophagus all the way down to your bum, it has these circular and longitudinal muscle fibers that squeeze and push things down the tube. Squeeze and push, like milking a cow. Squeeze and pulling and pushing. Sorry. Um, what's that called? Peristalsis. Good job. Whoa! It's like we're driving through a tunnel, but the tunnel's driving us. Hey, Arnold! How about a push? I wonder if this is what it feels like to get squeezed out of a tube of toothpaste. Yeah, but I get the feeling we're not going to end up on Arnold's toothbrush. Uh -huh. Oh, right you are, Tim. The esophagus connects the mouth to the... Anyone? Uh, I don't know how much more of this... Hint, it's very acidic. So I can stomach... <gasps> <gasps> Excellent, Ralphie. The stomach is the next step in digestion. And it's a real doozy! So, this is pretty anatomically good. I think the stomach's usually a little bit lower, whatever, no big deal. But where they are right now, that's where you get a lot of reflux. So that's when the stomach acid goes up into the esophagus and you get heartburn. And you treat that with um, acid suppressing medications like uh, proton pump inhibitors. will be landing in Arnold's stomach. Nice. Thank you for flying Digestion Airways. <laughs> now that's what I call a belt. So there's nowhere near that much free space in the stomach because it's like a muscular bag with three different layers of muscle and they're all contracting in different ways and they just kind of crunch what, like they, they just basically are like crunching the food further. Belly flop. <laughs> nice. Now that's a school record I could go for. Thanks. Wanda would be so in- There is a lot of salt in olives. You don't want to overdo olives. Especially if you have heart or kidney problems because then your salt balance will be all off. Rest. Oh, I know. <laughs> hey, why not? Book of records. The all school record book. All of you. 978? That's a bad idea. Okay, it doesn't have to be olives. Oh, there have to be other records waiting to be broken. Yo ho ho and the stomach of slob. Check out the pink cliffs of Arnold. Ralphie, that's his stomach wall. Ralph, dead ahead. I bet this is what the Pilgrims felt like before they crashed into Plymouth Rock. Forget the Pilgrims, the walls are moving. Ah! Hard That's the gun, I I know Arnold likes rocks, but do you really think he'd swallow one? That's no rock. That's Arnold's gum. Phew, that was close. Is it just me, or do you get the feeling there's more out there than just food and water? So I know that gum is like rubber and it doesn't digest. So does that, does that mean that if you swallow gum, you poo it out and it's just still in its gum form? Have any of you ever pooed out gum? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. I'm interested to find out. Whatever it is, it's eating the bus. Oh, nothing to worry about, just a little stomach acid. Stomach acid? Here at United Digestion, we believe in breaking things down. We start nice. with the raw material of the food, put it in the mouth, and use the finest teeth in the world to tear, grind, and crush it into pieces small enough to swallow. Then the food gets pushed down the esophagus line into stomach centra, where we add acids and other chemicals to break the 
And what is that liquid called? Because we don't call it food once it's in the stomach anymore. It's called something else. And I think it's called chyle or chyme, C-H-Y-L-E or M-E. I can't remember. Can you guys let me know in the comments? That's only half of what we do here at United Digestion. Man, when it comes to digestion, Arnold doesn't mess around. You haven't seen anything yet. You mean there's more? Mm-hmm. All right, Arnold! If this doesn't impress her, nothing will. How many more to go, Liz? One more and I break the school record for pens stuffed into a pocket protector. Oh! What's that? Poor Arnold. Looks like he's got a hole like, in his stomach. Like Not a hole, scene of the Keisha. Alien. A valve. The doorway to his small intestine. Yeah, well, he just swallowed the gun. Why hasn't the gum been digested? A few things are too tough to be broken up and dissolved. Like school buses, right? There's only one way to find out. <sighs> Here we go! There are multiple ways to find out. You could just test an inconspicuous area outside of the stomach with some stomach acid or something. I don't know, I feel like with a bit of effort you could find ways to test it. Those things you can just see in the window there, the folds, they're called villi. They're like little finger-like projections that increase the surface area of your um, intestine, uh, like tenfold. And then on top of them, even smaller yet, there are things called microvilli, which increase the surface area of each cell another hundredfold. So the surface area is just huge. Scuba world. Welcome to the small intestine. The next step in digestion. So FYI, it's around this point where if you get a gastroscope, which is a procedure to look inside the stomach and um, the first part of the small intestine, if you do a duodenoscopy as well, um, this is where it, it stops. So if anyone has a bleed and they're bleeding profusely and, and dying from a bleed uh, and you don't really know where it is, you'll do a gastroscope. Um, so you'll try and look in the stomach. Um, unlike this stomach though, you'll tell the person not to eat for six hours so that the stomach is empty so that you can see all of the stomach but it's a problem if they're actively bleeding because then the stomach fills with blood. And fun fact, I don't know if it's fun, but it's a fact. Uh, when blood mixes with that stomach acid, it's not red anymore. It turns black. So it, we And it looks like coffee ground. So we call it coffee ground uh, vomit and it's uh, a bad sign. It means you're bleeding in your stomach. Um, yeah, and if there's nothing found, you can also do a colonoscopy, which is when you look at the back passage, but that also doesn't get to the small intestine. So uh, gastroscopy, go through the stomach, uh, only sees the first part of the small intestine, then there's a couple meters you don't get to see, and then the colonoscopy just sees the large bowel, and then there's still some of the small intestine you can't see. So if you find nothing in the gastroscopy or the colonoscopy, and there's that third part of the, of the intestine that you still haven't been able to see, you can then do this new thing, which is really cool. It's called a pill endoscopy and you swallow a camera pill and it's exactly like this magic school bus actually you just swallow it it goes all the way through your um, digestive system taking photos along, along the way and then you poo it out um, and discard of it as you will and uh, you wear a belt that captures all the images and then you get to see if there's any bleeds or, or any cancers or anything sinister uh, in the small intestine there is your lesson in gastroenterology everyone i hope you enjoyed i don't get it it's been dissolved, digested, whatever. What else is left to do? As I always say, Ralphie, Whoa. digested is not delivered. Anyone for a dip? Go swimming in Arnold's digestive juice. Not me, no way. How was <laughs> I supposed to know she'd have digestive juice scuba gear? Isn't this the coolest? Hey, there's the gun! So another thing they're not showing is the peristalsis. Your, your intestine is constantly working and contracting and pushing. So they would be getting crushed and like pushed through. It would be a terrible experience. I'll be right back. But wonder. Hey, look at this. The dissolved food is disappearing into these rubber 
covered cactus type thing. <laughs> They're called villi. Cool. They're soaking up the food like a sponge. But where did it go? The blood, Here man. The digestion. What we digest, we deliver. As the villi in the small intestine nice. soak up the nutrients in the food, the nutrients are transferred into the bloodstream. And the bloodstream delivers the nutrients to all parts of the body. Because here at United Digestion, we believe in turning food into fuel. I get it. The bloodstream is like a pizza delivery service. Only Bro, you do not need your cap whilst you are scuba diving in a scuba helmet. It delivers energy. Speaking of energy, where's Wanda? <laughs> I feel like this is all Wanda's fault somehow. Huh? Did I do it? Two minutes and four seconds. How can I break the school napping record if oh, my stomach I could go keeps waking right me now. up? Where could she be? So I don't see her anywhere. Wanda! Where are you? Wanda! We've been through the entire small intestine. And no sign of her. There she is. Ah, oh, she went into the large intestine. The large intestine? You mean there's more? <laughs> What's that? Just Arnold's leftovers. Watch out! So the small intestine is really important in absorbing most stuff, like all the carbohydrates and proteins and like um, the vitamins and nutrients and stuff. Uh, the large intestine is more important in like absorbing water and water regulation as well as other like specific molecules. Oh, it's getting poo colored. Talk about action. Oh, don't take it off. Scuba world, the large intestine is spell world. <laughs> At least it's a lot drier in here. Yeah, but where's Wanda? Wait a minute. This should work. Wanda, if you can hear this, give a shout. <laughs> Let's go. All right. The further we go, the drier it gets. The walls are sucking up all the water. That's the large intestine for you. It removes the water from the leftovers. So at the very start of the large intestine lies a very interesting and important yet unimportant organ called what? Why am I thinking of it right now? The appendix. The appendix is just this um, blind tunnel of like it's a remnant from a kind of evolutionary um, digestive tract that we used to have and now it's just this withered old little thing that looks kind of like my pinky but it's hollow and it's an offshoot of the large intestine um, and I'm thinking of it because what happens in appendicitis which can be life-threatening um, is that a piece of poo blocks it and then the appendix gets blocked but the digestive juices keep getting produced and so it swells up and there's bacteria right so they proliferate and then they get infected and then it can pop and if it pops then the pus that has built up in it will just go everywhere in the abdominal cavity causing, causing peritonitis and it's an absolutely terrible situation you can definitely die from it and in fact I had um, my flatmate maybe three years ago her brother uh, went to the emergency department because of um, uh, abdominal pain and they diagnosed him with gastroenteritis um, and then he looked a bit better so they sent him home it's like he didn't get admitted to hospital he just spent like a couple hours in the ED and came home and then he's tried eating again and then he just went off this cliff edge and started getting really bad and I got a knock on my door in the middle of the night because he slept over because um, my flatmate, his sister, was worried about him and she's like, he's shaking, like, um, can you come have a look at him? And I went and had a look at him and he was rigoring and I did like the one examination you got to do and, the, and it's very kind of 
uh, suggestive of, uh, of peritonitis or appendicitis. And it's a very scary thing to, to see because it means that things are very serious. And it's probably 11 p.m. at the moment. And I just, um, let's bring this out. I just pressed on his belly and it didn't, sorry, it's actually down here you pressed. I just pressed on his belly while he was lying flat, didn't hurt. And then I let go quickly and he goes, oh, what does that mean? It means there's a rebound tenderness. Um, these days, you, you just have to be cuts. But anyway, there was a rebound tenderness, which means that he had peritonitis. That's what it suggests. Um, the, the reason it does is too long for this video. But anyway, I was like, this is appendicitis. And he was like, I'm not going back to that ED to just wait in the chair while they tell me I have gastro. And I was like, if you don't go to ED, you're going to die because this is peritonitis and it kills people. And he went back to the ED. And what had happened was that his appendix burst. So he was feeling really unwell. And he went to the ED and then he felt better and he felt better because the pressure that was building in that appendix, it popped and it released all the pus and the pressure. And that actually made him feel good for a little while. So he tried to eat and then that um, pus that had been leaked out infected all the, the peritoneum, the, the abdominal cavity, and he got really unwell again. So um, he went there, he got like overnight surgery. It was really serious. And uh, now he's happy, well, and it was all good in the end with a bit of antibiotics and some good resuscitation. But uh, close call, you know, this guy is, he was maybe like 20 at the time. So young guy, tangent over. It's dried into a raisin. A raisin? Cool. Ralphie? Uh, <laughs> not cool at all. Terrible, actually. <laughs> Yikes! to join the rest of the waste products and finish the trip. What? Wait a minute. According to my research, the waste products go... Nuh-uh. No way. At my old school, we were never allowed to end up in the toilet. Anyone have a better idea? We could go back to the mouth and ride it again. Wanda! She is right. We could go back the way we came. I've been keeping track, and the digestive system is just one long tube divided into parts. We started off in the mouth, got squeezed down the esophagus, landed in the stomach, got pushed into the small intestine, I want to appear in the large This intestine. is good spaced and repetition. Since we don't want to go out here, all we have to do is go backwards. We could go back up the large intestine, back to the small intestine, into the stomach, back up the esophagus, and burst triumphantly out the mouth. It won't be easy. You're right, Tim. Digestion pushes everything down. We'll have to fight our way back. We might never make it. Never say never, Miss Frizzle. <laughs> <laughs> How can I break the record for eating lunch if I can't find my lunch? Hmm. I wonder if there's any rules about it having to be my lunch. A chocolate mallow blaster. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. <laughs> Full speed ahead! This is insane. Consider the alternative. You know, biking is my favorite sport. No! Oh, so much for the easy part. The easy part? <laughs> yeah. Remember all the muscle power that pushed us down the esophagus? Oh. I'm going to pause here just to say that if you're enjoying this kind of content, please consider leaving this video a like. It'll help YouTube algorithms share it to more people. And you can subscribe as well if you like, um, if you like this stuff. Guys, leave the comment down below if you enjoy the full length reactions, like the whole episode. Um, keen to do more of them. And also comment down below what you want me to react to next. 
and it's almost noon. If Arnold eats lunch, there's gonna be tons of food raining down on us. If I eat Ralphie's lunch and break the lunch eating record real fast, Wanda will think I'm the best thing since Velcro shoe fasteners. But then Ralphie will be steamed at me for eternity. <laughs> Something? I'll wither away to nothing. I know. That's dramatic. I could eat Ralphie's lunch and think up a good excuse on a full stomach. Arnold. What? I've heard my stomach growl before, but talk? Arnold. Are you about to eat Ralphie's mallow blaster? Uh, <laughs> no. I, I mean, yes. Uh, e! Don't lie Wait to your stomach. Second. Is this? This is your conscience, Arnold. You know you shouldn't eat Ralphie's mallow blaster. Besides, you are not even hungry. Not hungry? I could eat a. You just think you're hungry. What you really are is thirsty. Mm -hmm. I am? Trust me, you are. Now there's a nice bottle of seltzer in Wanda's lunch bag. That's what you really want. Uh, okay, I guess. Hey, how come it's okay to drink Wanda's seltzer, but it's not okay to eat Ralphie's mallow blaster? Because Wanda's a far kinder and more generous human being than Ralphie when it comes to sharing. Then how come when she has a mallow blaster, she hogs it all to herself? Look, I'm your conscience, all right? Just do what I say and drink the seltzer now! Time me. Oh, a bird. Oh, that's way more PC than a vomit. Okay, fair enough. break a record. I'll oh, never win anything. Ronald. I'll never even get to eat lunch. Did someone say lunch? <clears throat> Congratulations, Arnold. Huh? You just broke the record for being the best field trip ever. What? <laughs> and giving me the ride of my dream. Oh. You mean... I was the field trip? Yep. But where exactly did you go? You went inside? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Frizzle, no matter what, I'll never miss another field trip. Never, ever, ever, ever. Wonderful, Arnold. Starting right after the next one. <laughs> Never say never. That's the closing credits. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I definitely did. That's uh, It's always so nice to do Magic School Bus. It's just like a trip back to, down memory lane. And there's something, you know how when sometimes you smell a smell and it takes you away to an old memory and you, you know, you're just in a different place? I feel like when I listen to the Magic School Bus intro, it takes me back to my childhood. Uh, which is so nice. Anyway, that is it for this video. I'd really like to thank my YouTube members and patrons. My patrons are Robbie, Amin, Erica, Hervé, Jay, and Maddie. And my YouTube members are Colonel B, Casey Hardison, and Brian Bricker. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel. It's because of you guys that I can I get to invest in all this wonderful equipment to produce the videos that I love to make and hopefully you love to watch. And I wish you all an absolutely lovely day to everyone watching. I'll see you all in the next episode. See you guys.